It is 941 now, and when you think of Boston, one thing that comes to mind is seafood, delicious seafood. Absolutely, and while many may associate Boston with lobster and clams, another New England reci uh, favorite recipe is scallops. Mm -hmm. And our own Jill Horner joins us live again from the Royal Sinesta Hotel in Cambridge, Massachusetts for a Boston-style barbecue. Mm. Good morning, Jill. That's right, forget the burgers and dogs this morning. It's all about local New England foods, including scallops. With me right now is Robert Matalonis. He is the sous chef here at the Royal Sinesta Hotel, the Gallery Cafe. Robert, when we talk a little bit about New England, we think seafood right away when it comes to food. Yes. And all of the food that we have here this morning is very local. These scallops oh, yeah, are great. from just a few miles away. Oh, definitely, yeah. From George's Bank, we have our local scallops here. They're a couple miles off the coast. This is great seafood. If you like seafood, you definitely have to come to New England because we have the best seafood here in and, uh, you can honestly say that you've worked all over the world. You're a local New Englander. You're yeah. back in town cooking here. Explain to us a little bit about how this recipe works. We will have it up, up for uh, viewers to try at home. Well, I like to grill my scallops and uh, I like to do a little barbecue sauce most of the time. But today I've chosen a reduced cranberry uh, sauce, which it turns into a glaze and which has a nice tart taste, which will definitely go along with the sweetness of the scallop and uh, definitely harmonize with the uh, scallop. Okay, let's go through the recipe because you have marinated the scallops so that they don't stick to the grill. Yeah, I have a little lemon juice, salt, pepper, a little vegetable oil, and basically what I do is marinate that in the marinade and that's what I used so it doesn't stick on the grill. Okay, so you have some on the grill here yeah. cooking. How long do we need to cook them, Robert? Well, I grill them on each side mm -hmm. for maybe three or four minutes. Okay. And then basically uh, you wait till a little juice comes up to the top like that, and then you know it's cooked all the way pretty much through, so it's still nice and juicy inside there. Okay, they are looking delicious. Tell oh, us a little bit about these sauces that we have. Well, I have a uh, cranberry juice here from Massachusetts, of course, uh, with a little honey, and I reduce that into a nice glaze, okay. which kind of serves as a barbecue sauce, the same color, and it definitely, uh, with the sweetness and tartness, goes very well with the scallop. So Vermont honey, Massachusetts cranberries, yeah. and then what about this sauce behind you? Well, I have the uh, local Westport Rivers uh, sparkling wine, which I really like, that goes very well with the tartness of the cranberries, and I make a Blanc, which is a butter white wine sauce, and that goes really well with the scallop. Uh, goes good with the tartness, also with the cranberry, and gives a little more taste. Okay. Yeah. So put one together for us so we can okay, see how great. this actually looks and, and how the sauces go on. I'll take some of the watercress. Watercress I have here is very good right now in season. Has a little bit of a horseradishy taste. Mm -hmm. It's I actually really, like really that. delicious to just yeah. eat. What I do is I take a little. It's really of the, kind of tangy. A little of the uh, white wine sauce. Put that on the greens. It kind of wilts just a little bit, not too because much. Because the sauce is hot. Yeah. Okay. And I put that on the plate like that. Then I have uh, the scallop. So as you're doing that, tell us a little bit about the Gallery Cafe, because I've had the chance to have lunch and breakfast here, but yeah. you have dinner specials as well. We have great specials here at the uh, Gallery Cafe here mm -hmm. in uh, the Royal Snesto Hotel. And uh, we have a Thursday night grill night, mm -hmm. which is great. And you can come with the whole family or just by yourself. And we have some great specials. We also have the scallops here too. And um, I think, uh, you know, it's a great place to be, um, definitely if you're at the hotel. Okay, so you have the scallops here. Yes. And then what happens next? Well, I'll take the cranberry glaze, and what I do is I just pour them on the scallops, mix them up a little bit, and it, it sticks pretty well because I reduce the glaze down to a nice syrupy type consistency. And this is something that we'd make inside the house before we actually came out to the barbecue? Yeah, you got to do something like that because um, you have to pay attention to when it reduces so it doesn't reduce too far. Or and we do this in a pan in the kitchen. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That goes well. And I actually use some of the sauce to garnish the plate like that. All about the presentation, Robert. Oh, yes. <laughs> and then a little bit of beurre blanc. To finish it off a little bit. That looks like absolutely beautiful. Now, the recipe that we will have available makes four to six servings, but this is really a nice a way to start your dinner. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you can use this uh, as a, some people like to eat seafood without okay. a starch or maybe with a starch, but this you can use a rice with that or something like that. But it definitely goes just like itself. All right. Do I get to try? Oh, you get to try. Yes, okay. of course. Thank you so much, Robert. Some beautiful scallops here and also a beautiful setting. The Sinesta Hotel right on the water 
here in Cambridge, across from Boston. Really, our home away from home here in Boston. Connie and Gwen, nothing like seafood fresh off the grill. We'll see you live on the waterfront at the New England Aquarium tomorrow morning. Mm. <laughs> wow. Thank you, They're Jill. <laughs> got to bring some of that home for us, right? She has got the roughest job. I tell you, she picked the, the long stick? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Hey, remember to tune in tomorrow when Greg and Jill will come to you live from the New England Aquarium for the next stop in the Nissan Waterfront Tour here on your morning. And the first 200 people who show up and are part of the audience uh, get a ticket to the aquarium, and they also get uh, a delicious Mike's Donut. Mm. Very we'll nice. you and entertain you both. <laughs> time to check the news now for one last time. We're going to go over to Jam Sardar. Jam? A, a donut? I'd rather have the scallops. <laughs> they don't give away the free scallops there? I, don't, I think just a donut. It's breakfast time I'll take a good morning. donut, too, of course. Okay. There's nothing wrong with a good donut.